All right, guys. So uh, with 9-11, I'm sure you've seen these pictures before. And uh, again, it's, uh, I, I, like, I don't like to go off topic when it comes to notes or a lot of the information we're talking about in class. I know we're talking about the Middle Ages, but again, when a day like this comes up, I think it's a good time to remember and talk about it, especially since many of you weren't even alive. I think it's important to know about these terror attacks and why we're maybe involved across the world in the Middle East. And uh, just last year with our withdrawal of Afghanistan, a lot of people were a little angry, a little upset, thinking that, you know what, this was 20 years since 9-11, around 20 years, roughly. And here we are just leaving Afghanistan and trying to fight these terror organizations that caused these attacks. And, well, we just get up and leave, right? And we just leave a lot of this military funding, a lot of this military aid there. And these attacks just spring up instantly after we left. And Afghanistan was what we know as overthrown and is run now by uh, many terrorist organizations and terrorist groups. So a lot of people are, again, upset by maybe the, the, the withdrawal of Afghanistan and how we can just let things go and how maybe we shouldn't forget about these events here that occurred. Again, why a good job bringing up the other attack on American soil. We will talk about Pearl Harbor later in the year when we talk about World War II, but these flashbulb memories are things that people won't forget. And I just gave you the story about where I was, obviously, in first grade in a class. I was wearing a Batman shirt. I love Batman. So it's one of those things that I just won't forget it. But, yeah, it was terrible. It was terrible. Here are my mentors, my uh, teachers, the people I looked up to. They're all crying. And my mom and a lot of the people that were at her hair salon were crying as well. And I just was confused as a young child. Uh, and I just really couldn't put it in, in my understanding of what occurred. Uh, I actually had a classmate then that moved from New York City, and she came right around fifth grade, sixth grade, and she gave her viewpoint of the Twin Towers and how she was watching everything unfold on her television, and she looked out the window, and there it was. Right? And I just couldn't imagine what perspective or experience that had to be an impact on someone. Uh, just knowing 3,000 3, 3, people died just there in your viewpoint um, it's just unbelievable. It's kind of eerie. It's somber, right? Huh? 28. Just hold on. Yeah, yeah. I'm close. close. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so the last, the let's let's, to let's calm down now. Let's calm down. Yeah. So, again, uh, with the Twin Towers here, uh, another attack here that I talked a little bit about was the Pentagon. Okay. Here's one of the attacks the planes crashing into the Pentagon. Again, it was just all over the news. Every news source that you watched that day, any channel that you had turned on, it was directed towards this. And again, it's just a sheer shock. Uh, here in America, we are protected. We have a very strong military and rightfully so to try to make sure that these attacks never happen on our soil. And occasionally, sometimes it does. Luckily, right, there's only two of them, but at the same time, we need to remember, we need to think back to these times. Okay, I'm sure you guys saw the Pentagon before, right? All right here's maybe a, an upside look of it. There it is. So, again, that's where a lot of the military defenses, the uh, strategies, plans, unsealed documents are located and how they targeted the Pentagon building. All right, here's another one. Flight 93. Okay, so this is the memorial out in Somerset, Pennsylvania. And uh, it's a tower with, I think, 2,977 bells that are attached to it. So each time the breeze flows through um, that, that area in Pennsylvania, you hear the bells and it's just a constant remember of those who died during that event. And I think that's a great memorial. Uh, not too long ago, I think it was three years ago, President Trump visited the 9-11 memorial on 9-11 and uh, they had a nice news source about it, a nice event that was held there to commemorate those who died, those who lost their lives. And maybe you guys can look that up, find it. Uh, anyway, it was a great remembrance of those people. So if you get a chance, you're out in Western Pennsylvania, maybe pay a visit to it, pay a visit. And then Ground Zero, okay, here's Ground Zero. Obviously during the attack, a lot of rubble, a lot of destruction, a lot of death. 
And uh, today they put these forms here where the foundation of the Twin Towers were located. And uh, this is constant lit up, constant remembrance of the event. So they have a nice memorial there in New York City. They also build a tower, it's called the Freedom Tower. That really overstands and overlooks the uh, overlooks uh, New York City. I think the height of it is the exact number of people that passed away during the event. So they really made sure they were paying their respects, their tributes to those people. Yeah, here's a picture, side by side look. So the Twin Towers, and then here's Freedom Tower, right next to where they were once located. Has anybody ever visited New York City? Yeah, did you see Ground Zero? Mm -hmm. Nice. Do you have any pictures of it? I might have look around. Okay, look around. How about it? Look around. All right. Uh, I remember watching movies back in the day. And uh, so one of them, Home Alone, they actually edited it out of Home Alone and uh, the, the Twin Towers. But if you have an old copy of Home Alone, you actually can see the Twin Towers in it. And uh, I just think that's kind of shocking to see sometimes. I remember when I was little, Spider-Man was a big movie. Tobey Maguire. I'm sure you guys know him with the newer one. He, he made an appearance in the newer one. But uh, they actually had a trailer of Spider-Man swinging in front of the Twin Towers. And they actually had it edited the trailer shortly after they released it because of the Twin Towers being located in the background. And a lot of people argue that's like, oh, well, don't take that out. That's something to remember. That's something that was impactful. And then others might see that as, you know, maybe traumatic seeing the Twin Towers in the background. But in any case, I thought it's important to note. Um, if I have time after the red bandana video, I'll show you what happened here at a baseball game. Uh, the New York Yankees were playing, and uh, it was a packed stadium. It was shortly after the first game after 9-11, and someone threw the first pitch out. Does anybody remember who that was? Connor, do you know? It was the president at the time. I forget his name. Oh, you forget his name. Forget All right, Wyatt, go ahead. George W. Bush, good job. So, yeah, George W. Bush, he throws the first pitch out, and the place uproars. And I think it just goes to show culture in America. Baseball, obviously, is the pastime. And the president delivering a strike. It's not like he threw the dirt. It's not like he threw it over the catcher's head. He threw a strike and everybody erupted. And then he just walked off. It looked like he was a bad But anyway, but um, it just showed really what America is all about. And I thought that was symbolic. I mean, that's, again, you, you look at sports, you kind of, Stop at it, but again, that's a part of our culture, especially baseball. And the president coming in delivering a strike like that after an event, it really just showed the world what we're all about and that we're going to bounce back. So, if I have time, I'll show you that video. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, George Bush talks about it. He says, Oh, there I was practicing, warming up, and Derek Jeter comes up. I'm sure you know who Derek Jeter is, right? Yeah, I heard of him. He comes up and gives me a motivational speech. and I had the chills because Derek Cheater talked to me. It's like, you're the president of the United States, right? You should be above this guy, huh? No, but he, he really looked up to Derek Cheater, I guess. I thought that was funny. All right, so I'm going to attach this video to the uh, announcement post. I'm not going to put it inside the lesson of chapter one. I don't want to confuse you, but I'll put this on the announcement. So if you get time, if you want to check these pictures out or go on your own, check these pictures out, look a little bit more of 9-11, go ahead. I'm going to play the red bandana video for you now.